Sometimes in life, uh, this goes with that. So if somebody says one sentence, you know by the implications of that sentence that something else is also true or something else is also not true. Let's look at a verse and see what is said and then also what is implied as well. 2 Corinthians 6.14 says, Do not be joined to unbelievers. What do right and wrong have in common? Can light and darkness be friends? What God's saying here is we become like those we hang out with. And sometimes others can kind of talk us as a result of peer pressure in going into areas of our life that are more negative and aren't good for us. This is especially seen in the statement, people, places, and things when guys struggle with addiction. Because oftentimes what they were doing addictively is connected to particular people in their life that they have to set boundaries with. But let's look at the other part of it. Does that imply that verse that we should be joined to believers and that we should try to hang out with people that have right in common with us. And if that's what that verse says, then the male tendency to be in isolation is not a good problem for us to ignore. I'm working on a retreat center with a group of friends and I welcome you to be a part of it and check it out at servantsoasis.org. And God is blessing us in tremendous ways. And we could use your financial assistance and maybe even you as a volunteer. And yet, as I'm carrying on and enjoying and laughing with these groups of believers and seeing what God is doing together as a team, I'm growing spiritually while I'm involved with them. If I wasn't doing this with other believers, I would be further behind in my spiritual development. As this verse says, I have to watch out who I hang with so they're not taking me backwards. But at the other hand, I need to watch who I do hang with and make sure I hang with some good people that can help me understand how they integrate Jesus into their lives and thought processes in a way that might be a good example for me to follow. So take a moment to look at your relationships. Decide first what kind they are, but make sure that you don't give in to that male tendency and, and not ask yourself the following question. Do I have enough relationships with men that are believers in order to sustain my faith walk going through life as I want to live it and God would have me live it? Let us pray. Help us understand those influences in our lives, whether it's commercials or bosses or all kinds of relationships that can send us in the negative away from you, Father. And help us to overcome our male tendency to just let things slide regarding our own social needs with our band of brothers to make things better. Please help us grow in this regard. Help us bring friends to our lives that encourage us spiritually to face issues otherwise we would avoid. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now remember, God is quite the conversationalist, so talk and listen to God today.